Imagine that you have a laser beam sticking out of your navel. And this beam has a splitter so that it, it splits a, uh, a wall of laser light, infinitely thin. So if you penetrate the light, we rig it up so that an alarm goes off. And so I tell you, you cannot, the rule is you cannot move your hand across the midline of your body. And so we have this laser in our navel. It's putting out a laser light. The light is split into this blackboard-like thing of laser light. It's like a sheet. And if you pass it, the bell goes off. No, the bell doesn't go off. You are rigged so that you get 10,000 volts of electricity. You get jolted. So I ask you, <coughs> suppose I have a, a wall and the wall is against my left leg. Can I touch my finger to the wall without violating this rule? Yes. How, you say? Well, let's pretend this is the laser light. I do this. And I touch, I touch the wall because I have rotated my torso and so I have realigned where my center sticks out, you see. So if I do this, I'm never passing my center. Now that isn't exactly the rule, but that is the idea that if you want to have movement, it originates here, in your center. It is October 29, 2006. I made a video yesterday talking about a laser out of the navel. And I noticed just now that my settings on my camera were wrong, so I'm going to repeat myself quickly. Pretend like you have a uh, laser sticking out of your navel. Now, it's a laser beam. The beam has a splitter that splits the beam into a sheet. And it cuts the midline of your body. And you have a wall here, and you want to touch your right finger to the wall. The question is, can you do that if you have a rule that says you can't cross your hand beyond the midline of your body? If you do, you're, you're going to break this laser beam and fire a, uh, you're wired up and you're going to get jolted with 10,000 volts. The way you do it is, pretend there's a wall here, this is the wall, is you sink, sit, relax. Then you turn your torso so that the beam, the relative position of your hand to the sheet of uh, laser light really doesn't change so it never crosses it. And yet you touch the wall. The question becomes how do you turn the torso and that's a whole other story. <laughs> Not today.